Ready to dive in? Awesome! Go ahead and launch Unreal Editor for Fortnite or UEFN from your Epic Games library. Since we're building a game from scratch, pick the blank project template. Choose where to save it, give it a name, and click Create. First, we want to change the island settings. Let's take a look at the Outliner. The Outliner is your central list. It shows everything in your level, from devices to props, in a clean hierarchy. As you follow along the series, you should try your best to keep the Outliner organized by creating folders and grouping assets together. Look for the Island Settings device. This device controls important settings, such as the number of players who can join and whether players can build during a match. If you left-click on it, the panel below the Outliner will change. This is the Details panel, and it shows you the current details of anything you have selected. Here, you can fine-tune the selected asset, change its position, rotation, size, and tweak gameplay settings depending on the device. Since you're making a single-player experience, let's start with changing the device to only let one person into the game by adjusting the max player setting to 1. There are a few more settings to adjust, all of which you'll see on screen now. These settings can turn off building and environmental damage, make players automatically pick up nearby items, and give players infinite ammo. As you're configuring settings in the Details panel, you can scroll to find what you need or search for a specific setting. Remember, you can always come back and tweak your island settings anytime, though it's smart to set them early once you know the kind of game you're building. Now, let's take a look at the Viewport. The Viewport is the window into the world you're creating, and to interact with it, you'll use tools from the Viewport toolbar. The Selection tool lets you select one or more objects. The Translation tool moves those objects along any axis or multiple axes at the same time. And the Rotation and Scale tools, well, rotate or scale objects like you'd expect. You can quickly switch between the tools by using the default shortcuts Q, W, E, and R. To move around the viewport, hold right-click and use the WASD keys as if you were playing Fortnite. Now, enable the Selection tool and click one of the player spawners. Player spawners are devices that tell the game where players should start in the level when the game begins. But don't worry, we'll go more into devices in the next video. With the device selected, click the Delete key to remove it from the world. After all, you don't need two player spawners for a one-player game, right? Nice! You've officially made your first edit. Let's save. Go to File, Save Current Level, or click the Save icon in the upper left. By default, UEFN saves every 10 minutes, but it's smart to save often to ensure nothing gets lost. Finally, at the bottom of the screen is the content drawer. This is where all your assets live. Props, devices, materials, sounds, and more. You can drag and drop assets directly into your level from here. To help speed things up, you can also dock it so the content browser is always open while you're moving assets into your level. Island settings? Check! UEFN basics? Check! You're all set to start crafting the gameplay in the next video.